When I was younger, I wanted to be a chef, an astronaut, and a firefighter. <laughs> I didn't really think that science was really my, my career. I just went through it because I, I did what I wanted. My name is Danny, I am Spanish and I'm 25 and I work here at the Bristol Robotics Lab and I'm in the third year of my PhD on Swarm Robotics. My day-to-day -day is mostly here in the Bristol Robotics Lab with my robots. These are called Kilobots. They've got two vibrating motors, so they, they move by vibrating. I work on Swarm Robotics, so Swarm means a lot of individuals acting together. The Swarm will be deployed to explore this building on fire and try to detect people who need to be rescued so that firefighters can actually go directly to where the victims are. When I tell people what I do with these robots, they say, oh, that's cool, uh, so you are playing with robots all the time. For me, it's not just playing, but doing something else, which is doing search and rescue applications. One of the particular challenges I faced during my research is that I got diabetes. It was a big burden. So I thought, should I really continue with my research, with my PhD? It took me one month of getting things ready and relaxed. And then I came back and I'm here. Fake news in media is out there every single day and robotics has got such a bad credit either from media but also from films so there's that conception that robots will become conscious and will kill their humanity or robots taking jobs which is also a big thing being discussed at the moment i just don't like that because you generate that fear in society that can take it away from the good applications of robots. I want to help firefighters, but I have never asked a firefighter if this technology uh, will appeal to them. I'm at very, very early stages of developing such technology. Input from stakeholders isn't critical at this point. So I didn't start my PhD by asking them, but I will finish it doing so. Research councils should always demand that researchers identify who's going to be affected by their research. You should ask anyone who's involved or will be affected by your research. So that's why I do a lot of uh, public engagement 